It's a sunny afternoon as the 1-1 one one Warriors of Wabonzi Valley honor their seniors and host the 1-0 DeKal Barbs. Wabonzi coming off a 26-24 win over Matia Valley as DeKalb had their Week 2 game against Naperville North canceled due to COVID-19 protocols. Five minutes into the pass is received by Luke Petaway, but he's stripped of the ball by DeKalb's Tanner McDonald. And the ball's recovered by Aiden Sisson. DeKalb with the second and 10 ball on the 16 yard line. The Rock handed off to Tucker Eikens, who runs in the first touchdown of the game late in the first quarter. First possession of the second quarter, and DeKalb has a first and goal from the six. And once again, Trenton Kyler hands off to Tucker Eikens, who runs in his second touchdown of the night. It's 14 0 Barbs, 8.44 to go. Wabonzi ball on the 27. As Sean Clinton gets the handoff, and he's hit hard. He fumbles the ball in the play. It's recovered by DeKalb's Michael Robinson. After causing the turnover, DeKalb has the ball in field goal position on fourth down as Ethan Tierney kicks the 27-yard boot. DeKalb up 17-zip. With time winding down in the first half, Wabonzi's Nathan Pappas is looking for an outlet and he finds Tyler Helbing in the end zone for the touchdown. Now Wabonzi Valley misses the two-point conversion, so they're going into the half down 17-6. Just under four minutes left in the third quarter as DeKalb has a first and 10 on the 10. As Kyler hands off to Toriano Tate, he bullies his way through the crowd for the Barbs. And that's a touchdown, 24-6 DeKalb, 3.41 to go third quarter. Starting out the fourth now, and Kyler jukes out the defense and carries the ball for a 17-yard gain. And that's going to set up the Barbs in good position. On that same drive, DeKalb has the ball on the one-yard line as Kyler pushes his way into the end zone, extending that lead. 31-6 now, 10 minutes to go. Time dwindling, under 9 minutes to play. Wabonzi has a first and 10 on the 34. As Nathan Pop his hands off to Jabron Lee, and he's off to the races. 34-yard touchdown run, though Wabonzi's still down 31-12. The two-point conversion missed once again. Wabonzi looking for one last chance as the ball is fumbled by Charles Hobbs, and it's picked up by Taylor Tate, who gets the Barb's possession with a minute left in the game. Kyler takes the knee, finishes off the contest. DeKalb secures the 31-12 victory over Wabonzi Valley. Yeah, they, the defense they play is very similar, so we're just, we trained like two weeks basically for the same scheme, type scheme, so I mean, we were really prepared. Uh, yeah, you can see we had a little bit of rest from taking a week off. I, I think we could have played better than what we did, but we got the goal, which was 1-0 and win the week, so we move on to another week. It went pretty well. There's a lot of things we have to clean up uh, with the penalties and just uh, assignments. We got to work on some things for next week, but we'll be back and we'll be good.